Hello and welcome once again to Travel in Chinese. I'm Mark Rosewell, also known as Dash Ant. In this series, we're learning practical everyday Chinese as we travel around China with Huan Renhao and his family. Whether you're an advanced learner or just a beginner, I think you'll be able to pick up something from our program. Now, we do go through the lessons fairly quickly and there's a lot of material to cover, but every once in a while, we do, like today, go back and review all of the stuff that we've covered in the last few weeks, give you a bit of a chance to catch up. Over the last group of lessons, we were exploring around Yunnan in southwest China. There's the City of Spring, Kunming, and its famous horticultural gardens. The Stone Forest, Shilin, is not far away, with its unique rock formations. Later, we explore the ancient town of Lijiang and learn a little bit about Chamaku Dao, the ancient tea and horse route to Tibet and beyond. First, we start by making some plans before the big trip. Huang Renhao is going to Kunming on business, Chu Chai. So, Xue Mei has the opportunity to go along as well, but she's not sure what to do. She decides to go to a travel agent to inquire about travel to Yunnan. is to make some inquiries, to ask for some information and advice. something, the shirt, about things related to something. Things to do with travel in Yunnan. Actually, she just wants to find out what other people normally do when they travel to Yunnan. How do they arrange it? What is the standard type of itinerary? She's not really intending on joining a group. She admits, I especially brought a pen so I could write down their arrangements. Tei is a vocabulary item that we covered in this lesson to make a specific point of doing something. I've made a special trip to come and see you. In this dialogue, it seems Xie Mei is doing a little bit of casual spying. She's told that she's come to the right place. She's chosen the right place. The opposite would be You've picked the wrong place. But they're in luck because here they'll find promotional materials specifically for the Yunnan travel route. Specifically directed towards or specifically concerning Yunnan,这条线路 然后再去其他城市。不知道二位打算去多长时间？如果时间比较充裕的话，你可以选择这条路线，在这里面看。从昆明去大理，然后去西双版纳，再去丽江。恐怕我们没那么长的时间。你们可以先到昆明，然后直
For instance, 用塑料做的 made of plastic. 用纸做的 made of paper. Kunming has a natural advantage that makes it a perfect place to build this kind of horticultural garden. Here, 一年四季都像春天似的 The four seasons in a year are all like spring. This is a commonly used phrase that means the same thing, but it's more succinct. 四季如春 The four seasons are all like spring. This is why Kunming is known as Chuncheng, the city of spring. There are slight variations in the seasons here, but it's never very hot nor very cold. There are no distinct winter or summer seasons. Hey,你看,那边还有用鲜花做的大船和柱子 我都有点记住这里的人了。是啊，这里的天气啊，一年四季都像春天一样。不过话又说回来了，这里要不像春天一样漂亮，又怎么叫春城呢？说的有道理。哎，老公啊，那边的大房子里是什么？好像很多人都
After the stone forest, Huan Renhao and Xue Mei head off to the ancient town of Lijiang. This is a place Xue Mei has wanted to visit for some time. Xiang Wang Yi Jiu de Yiga Di Fang. Xiang Wang is to yearn for something. Xiang Wang Yi Jiu to have yearned for this for a long time. Huan Renhao has a friend who's from Lijiang. It just happens that he's gone back to Lijiang to visit his family. Hui Jia Tan Qin. Tan Qin is to visit relatives. He can help to serve as their guide, Dao Yu. Unfortunately, Xue Mei is feeling a little bit uncomfortable. She's feeling a slight bit of altitude sickness, Gao Yuan Fan Ying. Gao Yuan Fan Ying is what we call altitude sickness, the feeling that you get from not having enough oxygen. Gao Yuan is a plateau, a flat area up high in the mountains. Li Jiang is not that high of an altitude, but it is high enough that you can feel uncomfortable if you're too excited or active when you first arrive. Li Jiang is a beautiful place. Yao duo piao liang, jiu you duo piao liang. It's as beautiful as can be. It doesn't get any better than this. Jia ruo is another way of saying if, like ru guo. Jia ruo neng yi zhi sheng huo zai zhe li jiu hao le. If I could live here indefinitely, that would be good. The result is indicated by jiu, then. Jia ruo wo hui shuo di fang fang yan jiu hao le. It would be better if I could speak the local dialect. Here's another interesting pattern we covered in this lesson. Yi, something, ju duo to consist mainly of something. This is similar to e something wei zhu. In English, we'd probably translate these two patterns roughly the same way. There aren't many stone arch bridges in this area. Gong is an arch. The bridges here consist mainly of stone slabs, flagstones, shiban, or wooden beams, muban. One of the bridges is called Ying Xue Qiao, because you can see a reflection or Dao Ying of the snow mountain, Xue Shan. Ying is the verb to reflect, Xue, snow, here short for Xue Shan, the snow mountain. Ying Xue Qiao, a bridge where the stone mountain is reflected. <笑>这里是古城的路 那就得坐石板桥嘛<笑> 茶马古道什么意思？啊，以前交通不便，人们用马把茶叶、盐巴等生活之用品运进西藏，而这里就是马帮的必经之路。听起来好像很多好故事。对，茶马古道的历史很长，就好像你们知道的丝绸之路一样